Welcome to Ifak's number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now many might have thought that the DJ Brown skin story had just died and forgotten, but not so fast. The popular Kenyan entertainer, DJ Brown skin born as Michael Mashari and Jiri, was captured in a controversial video watching his wife pass on after taking poison at their garden estate home in Kasarani. Well, now DJ Brown skin is being investigated for aiding suicide contrary to section 225C of the penal code. DJ Brown skin was arrested by the Directorate of Criminal Investigation Detectives in Kasarani. The detectives picked him up from a popular club in the area on June 1st. He is being investigated for the offense in connection with the death of his wife Sharon Jerry, 24, who died between the nights of July 29th and 30th last year. The DJ is in custody at Kasarani Police Station where he has been held after Constable Weeks Lumumba of Kasarani DCI offices obtained an order from the Makadara's Magistrate Court to hold him for seven days to complete investigations. In an affidavit filed before Principal Magistrate Eric Mutunga on Friday, Mr. Lumumba said Njeri died by suicide with the help of Mr. Njeri. The deceased was seen consuming poison in a video captured by Mr. Njeri. The detective said Mr. Njeri failed to prevent the commission of the said offense which led to the death of Njeri. Mr. Lumumba said Mr. Njeri has been summoned three times by the DCI to appear and shed light on the matter but he refused and evaded police until he was traced and arrested. The detective said he needed time to locate the parents of the deceased and record their statements on the incident. The detective said Mr. Njeri was a flight risk as he had been on the run from January 2023 to June 1st. He added that investigators need time to gather vital evidence which is believed to be scattered. Mr. Lumumba added that the suspect was required to assist in the reconstruction of the crime scene and the collection of evidence. The DCI officer sought a 14-day remand, but Mr. Mutunga only granted him seven days. The application was opposed by Mr. Njiri's lawyer, led by Mr. Elisha Ndemo. Mr. Ndemo said Mr. Njiri was not a flight risk, as he lived in Kariobangi South Estate in Nairobi, and police knew both his residence and the place of work where they arrested him. The lawyer denied that his client had been summoned by the police and said nothing had been submitted to the court to prove that Mr. Njiri had been summoned to appear before the police. He added that the incident took place in July last year and there was no explanation as to why the police had not recorded the statements of the deceased parents. The case will be heard on June 9th, that is in the next couple of days, and I will be following it very, very closely. And in case of any update, definitely I'll bring it right here as always. So make sure you have subscribed, hit your notification bell, so you'll be the first to be notified once those updates are up. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.